Okay. This is a very sizable type of grasshopper. Very beautiful. And oddly enough, this year there's a considerable size population. So, to try and get somewhat of an idea of what it is, how it is, should be a female with the depositor for laying the eggs underground. When you hold them like so, <clears throat> you immobilize the back legs, which are large, formidable, and very sharp, by the way. The grip on these things is very, very impressive. So, you on a surface, they can get a very considerable grip. So, you have a very long set of antenna, sharp hook feet, very nice set of wings, if I can just carefully display without doing too much, just ever so gently. So, if I can just win. Now, there's actually so many of these individuals that I would love to try and house them, but as of September of 2016, I don't currently have the means to do so, which is a shame, but because these things do eat crops like tomatoes, and other things, I have had to remove a few of them from the local, local environment. So the legs are very considerable and have just as much of a grip. And, uh, wow, okay, anyway. And they do have a bit of a set of jaws on them. <laughs> Which is why I'm <laughs> Whoa. trying to stay away from the business end of this thing. But uh, if I can just get a gentle grip on it. So it is something that would look fantastic. Uh, as a long-term specimen to go ahead and work with, uh, unfortunately, I currently don't have a housing. And also, unfortunately, I currently don't have a uh, camera. Eh, that's a little better. That uh, focus is all too long, so. Definitely a beautiful, beautiful type of grasshopper. I have been currently calling it a leaf imitating grasshopper, although I will try to track that down and I will then change the uh, names of all the movies involved with this species. So, to try to give a size reference, because most people are probably wondering, yeah, that's not a good size reference. Because these are just fishing forceps. Standard quarter, 
and uh, that thing can uh, just about pick it up. So. Now, I do apologize, this is not a good macro camera, so. Hmm. That is very amazing. So, has a very, very good grip. Gently take away the quarter without hurting it and find out what happens when it potentially picks up a hot bottle cap. Okay. Interesting. So, just in case people are wondering, I should not be hurting it, I'm just holding the back legs. Hmm. So, a very interesting, very interesting. Very neat. 